As the weather starts getting warmer and warmer, you're going to see a lot more mosquitoes. Manatee County officials, they are trying to get ahead of this season, testing out a new method to actually catch them. 10 News reporter Isabel Mascarenas shows you how that works. Um, living out here is beautiful. Except during warm summer nights, says Lizzie Brown. It's much easier to be indoors in the cool and, uh, and not have to deal with these little monsters. <laughs> or commonly known as the Zika mosquitoes or backyard mosquitoes. It's a biter. This Longbow Key neighborhood called The Villages has one of the highest populations of these monsters in all of Manatee County, but hopefully not for long. The into care mosquito trap is attractive to female mosquitoes that want to lay their eggs. As part of a pilot program, Manatee Mosquito Control hopes to place 700 of these flower pot looking mosquito traps outside as many of the village's 210 homes as possible. Lizzie is one of more than 100 owners who've so far said yes. It's such an easy thing for a homeowner to agree to do. Um, there's no maintenance from my point of view. Inside the trap, it's just filled with water. A gauze is laced with two chemicals that the mosquito picks up when she lands on it. One of the chemicals is a larvicide which kills immature mosquitoes. Another is a fungus spore that is specific to killing insects. Biologist Eva Bugner says since the backyard mosquito lays her eggs in several places, she'll also spread the larvicide to each water spot. We're actually using the mosquito to do the work for us. And since she has already picked up those fungus spores, seven to 10 days later, she will die. How safe is it? Buckner says the World Health Organization uses the chemicals in drinking water kept outside. If it's safe for human consumption, it's safe for pets, it's safe for wild animals. And if it gets rid of these horrible little creatures, that would be wonderful. On Longbow Key, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News. The traps will be deployed the second week of May, checked on weekly, and the chemical gauze replaced every month. The pilot program runs through August, and if it works, the county will consider placing the into-care traps in other neighborhoods where mosquitoes spraying by air or by truck doesn't reach very well.